hello everyone it's me asmr welcoming you to my new photoshop tutorials and today i will edit this type of photo thanks to him the ear one and uh, i'll edit this type of photo and uh, this one is the raw image that's why it's opened up in a camera raw filter if you are using the backdated camera raw please do update the camera raw 12.3 this one amazing and uh, lots of features and the outlook that means totally you are getting the feel of the lightroom actually so if you're new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notification so if you want to uh, open up your uh, photographs uh, in a uh, photoshop uh, raw photo actually go to the open options and then select the photo and open up in photoshop if that is the raw image it will open up in a camera raw filter and if you are the user of the CS version, you have to install it manually. And if you are the user of the CC version, you are getting this one automatically in your Photoshop. Or you can download by checking my video description, the download link given over there. So after that, here uh, I'll do some basic color corrections and other steps and then I'll open up it in the Photoshop exposure i'll make the exposure a little bit down and the highlight i'll make down and add some vibrance and the shadow a little bit up and contrast okay and the saturation a little bit up so if i zoom this photo some spots in a face i have to remove that spots and i'll make it a little bit texture and uh, all the stuff here's some spot healing brush tool dedicated spot healing brush tool over there or you can press b from the keyboard you'll get that activated and make it zoom after that here you'll get the size and feather and opacity so i'll make the opacity 100 percent size is 8 you can make this uh, the according to your preferences you can scroll the mouse wheel you'll get the size smaller or bigger and the feather you can make this one bigger or smaller by controlling from here okay select once it will take the non-infected area and fill up this one automatically that means it was uh, like a, a clone tool uh, and it's doing the same thing of the clone tool that means it's taking the non-infected pixels and uh, just filling up the affected pixels so this one in a sense uh, in a clone tool you, are, you can just manage this one by dragging this one like that okay fine and now for your preferences you can turn on the visualize spot you'll get the white spot over there and you can easily remove those portion okay that means that is the affected area when you are selecting that or uh, you can manage it by using like this one manually so i'll use something like this 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 okay if you want to make this one more precisely you have to spend time on it and uh, don't be hurry up and you have to actually the creative work should uh, give time or if you give time to your creative work it will be more precisely and polished work so I'm turning off this one I'll do some uh, like uh, going to the brushes and make the brushes smaller little bit texture I'll add over here and I'll give the noise reduction so I'm just making it zoom that's good okay same policy if you the mouse scroll will give you the bigger size of the brush and a smaller size of the brush okay fine and here if i make the anchor point over there and you can change the settings from here the clarity i'll make the down clarity give some textures like that the head a little bit up actually like this and if you drag in the photo or the face you'll get the texture and you'll get the smoothness over there so if i before after if i consider these things so make it more 
clear or clear it down and you can do like that you can make it zoom okay that's good this one is the main technique to make your photographs like not too much blurry or high-end retouch but you can do the uh, primary retouch from here and this one amazing output you'll get okay let's see the before one actually before and after okay that's good and now i'll go to the basic panel again and then i'll go to the tone curve you are getting the curves that is totally new look actually when you are getting any kind of colors suppose i am in red color you are getting over there if you take your uh, like pointer in a downside which color will be and if you take this your what color will be so this one helping you out those who are uh, confused about the tone curve okay fine i'm here rgb tone curve i'll use over here lock over here and give some vignetting actually the grammar like that so it will make this one uh, like moody type i want to make this one moody you have to decide that things at first which type of effect you want to give in your photographs when you are editing from here i'll give some highlight okay and then contrast again now i'll go to the uh, like detailing portion give some noise reduction it will help you out to make the photographs more smooth and add some sharpening or like that okay and now i'll go to the split toning so split toning is highlight color and shadow color which color for the highlight and which color for the shadow here is a hue for the color picker or you can choose color from the hue and the saturation how percentage will be the color so hue i'll give some percentage of the color and choosing the hue okay fine this one is good for me and the shadow which color will be in a shadow okay if you need you can do like that i think this one is good or you can experiment with that things so you can experiment i'm just showing you the way how to experiment the photos or uh, these stuffs you don't ha have to um, like uh, copy me you can follow my steps or you can follow my techniques actually and after that uh, going to the color mixture the all the colors over there red orange yellow green aqua blue purple magenta whatever it is in this portion you are getting the red color that's why i'm doing the red color like that and the saturation i'll make up this one is the pop-up things for this photo if you give the red highlight or saturated attract the audience for this photo luminance i'll make the luminance up so after adding the pop-up or saturation in the red now you need to change the split toning so now i'll change the shadow color actually so i think this one this one is good moody look and the highlight color if you need you can change it up yeah that's fine and you can go to the calibrations from here you will getting three primary colors red green and blue if you work with the red you can get the color like that here is saturation and the green primary you can work with the green primary and the blue primary you can work with that so all the time i'll suggest you to experiment with your photographs when you are editing and this one depends on the mood before editing or before sit for the editing be fresh or you can take a coffee for your preferences it's totally up to you but you have to sit for the editing in a fresh mind this one is the technique to give the best output in editing okay now if i make it zoom that's fine i'm satisfied with that and now i'll make this one as a preset and i'll apply this one or i will share this preset with you and you can check out my video description for the preset so going to the options and save the settings and i'll give the name i'll share it with you the xmp file and you can use that your lightroom as well in a photoshop as well okay here is three options open open as a object and the copy i would like to open as an object just because of if you open up 
this one as an object or a smart object it will provide you the assumption to change in this photo future if you need to change any kind of setting you can double press in a smart object it will open up again in a camera raw filter or if you save this one um, as a image you can't um, getting the setting again and uh, unfortunately uh, all the setup uh, will be you know, like gone and you can't edit or you don't have to assumption to edit in a future so here now time to add something lights and a little bit like dodge and burn for for that i'll add the dodge and burn actually press ctrl or command j and ctrl or command j so two things the simple thing is that dodge for the highlight and uh, the burn for the shadow like that or uh, if you burn something it will be black or uh, dodge is a white so i would like to suggest you give the name the shadow and highlight so i'm giving the things that is the shadow or i'm giving highlight h h for the highlight and is for the shadow turning of the shadow and selecting the highlight going to the blending options and making it screen right press blending options from here you'll find out slider over there make sure that and be sure that or you can remember this thing when you are working with the highlight color you have to drag the black portion okay fine press the alter option button the slider will divide and adjust the light with the screen okay after that mask it out go to the image apply image and hit okay so you are getting the highlight portion so before and after highlight just popped up now in the shadow portion make it multiply so make sure that uh, you are getting the highlight is a uh, light that is uh, the white portion and the shadow is for the dark darker part of the photo and after that again blending options and now i'll just drag it to find out the shadow alter option button press it and hold it and divide the slider and adjust with the face that's good mask it and this portion going to the image apply image and you know that the shadow is the opposite of the highlight that's why i'll make it invert and hit okay okay you are getting here in a mask option you are getting here the highlight portion is uh, like highlighted or just showing you and here is the shadow portion selecting this two layer making it group and giving the name d and b okay nice and now mask it that means mask the group after that image apply image uncheck the invert option and hit ok now see the before one the flat image that is not like a 3d type or not uh, the shadow and highlight properly popped up in this photo you are getting the shadow and highlight popped up and that is the moderated options and you have the assumption to make the opposite up or down totally in your hand so i am making another copy of this selecting these two layers making it group and making it convert right press and making it convert to smart object now i'll apply uh, like uh, some filters from the nick collection you know nick collection is another plugins of the photoshop go to the filter nick collection color effects pro 4 so if you want to get the download link please check out my video description so after loading this one it will provide you the setup and the panels actually and you can use that things easily lots of method over there in a left side you can pick up or choose up from here i'm choosing the cross processing and lots of other method from that portion so which one is perfect for your photography you have to find out and you have to just pick up so i think this one this one this one is good i think this one is good as well actually it's confusing but you have to do experiment with uh, that uh, which one is the perfect for your photography so t01 i'm choosing this one and you can choose your own and hit the ok button it will take time to load it up and providing you the final output actually so you're getting like that go to the levels from the here and adjust the level like this 
okay you can make it moody actually so totally up to you so this one is the technique to edit your photographs creatively and the moody tone you can make the preset your own and you can follow my steps hope that you learn a lot from this video if you did please thumbs up and share with your friend don't forget to subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon for the new notifications amazing tutorials will be uploaded soon so until the next video i am a 7 signing out today stay safe stay at home bye bye